I don't even think I'm gonna grind it out. All the money. I think I'm gonna end the game after I do the bonus shit. Don't really have to worry about you, because you're slow as fuck. Gonna have to worry about you. everything Cope has lately. Oh, 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 oh,
just gonna look for the monolith real fast. Where the fuck is it? Oh, it's way farther up. The malevolence is getting stronger and stronger. Are you guys doing all right? You don't have to worry about us. We're fine. Double check this cup rate points anyways. I feel like there should be some here. I did four of them. <laughs> Okay, I already missed <laughs> like three of them.
Establishment of Camelon? The beginning of what, I wonder? Michael had just quit being a shepherd. The beginning of a normal life with his family, I suspect. And also, maybe, the first step toward a world without malevolence. So Camelon's name, the Origin Village, it probably didn't initially mean the origin of the Age of Chaos. He meant it to instill hope. Michael. There's still a chance, Lila. We can make Camelon the origin of hope again. By bringing a close to the Age of Chaos. Indeed. Oh, hey. We saw this before. In the Earth and Historia. Michael's house. <sighs> and you slipped here too, right? Yeah. I guess that means I was here myself. As a human baby. So that makes Camelon your hometown, huh? It's yours as well, isn't it? I suppose. But I don't feel anything toward it. It's just one of those historical technicalities. I can't think of my hometown as anywhere but Alicia. Yeah, same. You and me. Elysians now and forever. Now and forever. <laughs> Fuck that. I mean, historic can, historian would be like... This fuck is some part of an ancient race. Did I just say condom war? I had to have read that wrong. Okay, I did read it, read it wrong, but like... Fucking kidding me? Here, McLeo. I made this for you. The amount of malevolence here is just crazy. If Sir A wasn't here, we'd all be dragons by now. Is Maltellus emitting it, or is it flowing into Maltellus? In either case, the malevolence here is definitely what turned Maltellus into a Hellion. The heart of the malevolence seems to be in the back of the village, and there we should find... Heldolf and Maltellus. Let's go! The Hellions in this region are incredibly strong. You must be careful. I will. You guys do the same. We got this! Never underestimate the shepherd's posse. So I found this sketchy-looking equipment. Sketchy? You'd have to not know left from right as a merchant if you really think so. You're lecturing me about the ways of a merchant? It's true that its name, appearance, and capabilities are all kind of wonky. But you can fuse it with the same types of equipment. But that's expensive, isn't it? You might think so. But the cost of fusion will be offered at its lowest price ever. Soon this wonky piece of equipment will be a household item. 
so it is actually wonky? Plus, get this. If you use it ten times and then hand it over to the Lord of the Land, guess what happens? The Lord of the Land will provide you, and only you, with a free blessing. Isn't that the same as with any other equipment? Seven to go. Ugh, so much malevolence. It's way worse than the last time we fought held off. It just means we're getting closer and closer to him. Yeah, we can't afford to let our guards down. Just looking around at everything that I need. Digging her nails. Just make sure her nails don't dig you. Hell and tandem. Too close. Fight the score. Tiger blade. Strike. Now fight the strike. Multi block. Yeah. Ignite. Ready? Let's get him. Vermilion crack. Searing death. Not yet. Power. Work on. Got let up. Surfing the water. I want to click that. I want to click all that. Was it worried for a moment? Oh, no. It's a tiger, Hallie, in which attacks Seraphim in the dark. Don't try to face him one on one. I'll face him two on one. Cute-looking succubus. But she's a powerful opponent with few weaknesses. We've come this far. We can't lose yet. This isn't over. This isn't over. Lord of Water. Everyone's flag on the fence. Here goes. Fighting vortex. Aim and fire. Let's run fast. We dream. Aim and fire. Here goes. Aim and fire. Yeah. Hey, I can't. Contact his basic etiquette. 
I'm seeing a lifeless Hellion? What's up, buddy? Quit being such a creeper and cover me. This is where the rest of most of the stuff is. The crest of Mount Hellas? No, wait. Something's off. It's... This is the crest of Enominat. Enominat? Who's that? A rather enigmatic seraph who only comes up in the oldest texts. He was one of the five lords before Mount Tellus. A lord before Mount Tellus? Do the five lords switch in and out? Everything comes and goes, without exception. Right now, those who worship Mount Tellus vastly outnumber adherents of the other four lords. Tomorrow, it may be the opposite. I see. I guess that makes sense. So this was a shrine to a nominat. It looks like it. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. Usually they can't help but go on and on about this stuff. Lila, maybe we ought to... <sighs> huh? No. Moving on. Uh, right. Come on, guys. Yeah. Yes.
Everybody, everyone, Ezra and Griffin! I won't look! I won't lose! Get up! Are you yeah, fucking you kidding me? I did 
no chance of winning. We can't avoid getting hit. My foe is the heavens! The vortex swallows you! Aqua limit! that wanders this world. I wouldn't show them sympathy if I were you. Don't worry. I'm not here to give a sermon. Is this where I just came from? No, it's not.
Yes, that's the side I need. Is it? Maybe it's not. I'm sure it's tasty. Ancient Nova! Fire ship! Leave it to me! Burning red! Burning red! Burning red! 
Still no sign of him or his traps? The weight is almost the worst thing. I'm starting to feel very uneasy about this. Hey, didn't I tell us to keep our chins up? Doesn't do any good to speculate. You're right. standard. Ha! Criticize this, you jerks!
Seems like their carriage wheel broke. Why don't we help them out? Sure. <sighs> it's done. <sighs> you can tell Rose is still feeling a little uneasy over that whole desire for strength thing we talked about earlier. Looks like it. Seems complicated. It is. I was just reminded of the first time I met Saray. Yeah, me too. I had no idea I'd be going on a journey with you, let alone with a bunch of ghosts. You were so gullible when you first joined. It used to be way more fun to scare you. It was honestly kind of depressing to be feared so much. You were really mean, Edna. Freaking terrorist. You know, you once did a bit of terrorizing yourself. <coughs> Rose the infamous assassin had Saray in her sights once, didn't she? Yeah, and then she suddenly turned around and risked her own life to save his. How precious. We were with Saray the whole time, watching by his side, but powerless to do anything. It really was completely nuts, what you did there. <laughs> I was just foolhardy back then. And blind to things. You need to be that way, for some things. Huh. So that's why you did that for him. Hey now, Rose. You're thinking too hard about all this again. You don't have to say everything that pops into your head. Okay. Rose? Lila. Strength can warp you. If you don't have the proper intentions. Lunar was like that. But if you don't have the strength and skills to make those intentions a reality, you'll just get trampled underfoot. Yeah. Maven risked his life to teach me that. He strove for power, too. But it was for the sake of his comrades. For the sake of the Wind Riders. I do want to learn confidence in my strength. And I'm ready to get stabby for it. Got it. All right. I'll take this side. Sure. Let's go in order. That should be sufficient. Should be a doozy of a training session. <laughs> Bring it, suckers! You got it.
Why didn't you fucking switch her in when I fucking clicked down? Are you fucking kidding me, you stupid cunt? Shot. Got him. Satan! Let's 
Again. Which? Oh my fucking god. Every fucking time I fucking click to switch another fucking stupid content, they don't want to fucking come in. McLeans is fucking tired. Cramped in here. 
Again, are you fucking kidding me? Mikleos is officially a little fucking cunt. This is fucking ridiculous. I've switched him in before I fucking die because I dodged Get at the same off. time. Kidding me, Mikleo. Fucking hate. Give me your own! Fire! 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 F
Fire! 
nicely. Rose, don't you think this might be the perfect time to tell everyone what you said to me and Lastin Bell? What? Not now. The moment's like way past already. What is it? Now I'm curious. Um, well... Nope. Can't do it. Ask Lila sometime when I'm not around. Rose, I want you to know that I'm really, really glad we met you. So Lila style. Huh? I didn't mean it to sound like that. Sheesh, I'm joking. Anyway, the sun's down already. Let's spend the night in Lady Lake. I'm starving. Miglio, your perceptions weren't wrong after all. Though it's more trouble on our plates. So says the biggest trouble of them all. You're a trouble. <laughs> Face it, we're all trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. Guys, dinner time! Chop, chop! budded and bloomed into a beautiful flower. The end. You mean the whole thing with Rose's new move? But that lovely flower was about to get its petals munched off by the worry worm. Yes. All my mothering just made things more complicated. I won't do it again. <laughs> but the occasional screw-up is one of your charming features, Professor Lila. Aww. If only Professor Zavid would screw up as rarely as Professor Lila. Oh, no! Called out by Professor Edna! Don't you think so, Professor Miglio? W what? I'm not a professor. Professor Miglio, you already earned your honorary degree by being the first to discover Rose. That's something Rose decided herself, not me. Same as today. And again, I'm not a professor. But Professor... I'm not a professor! Professor Edna, Professor Miglio is being uncooperative. How rude. We expected better, Professor Miglio. Yeah, Professor Miglio, clean up your act. <laughs> Lila, I understand your concerns, and I'm honestly grateful you brought up the potential dangers back there. You all are far more experienced than the rest of us, and we owe you guys a lot for your guidance. Professor Miglio! Professor Miglio's back! How rude, Professor Miglio. This'll teach me to ever say anything sincere again. Fucking hated that. Four more to go. I'd like to thank you very much for your personal invitation today, Princess Alicia. It's quite all right. I would like to ask you for your continued support in liaising between the two countries. Well, about that. There's still quite a bit of business left for me to take care of. I will require some assistance. Assistance? Oh, assistance. I see. You do understand what I mean, yes? Y yes of course, we'll do our best to, uh, accommodate your needs. Oh, if that's the case, then I shall uphold my end and work hard as well. But your answer leaves something to be desired. If you're too readable, you'll be taken for all you're worth one day or another. Be mindful. Huh? You need to be able to manipulate people like me if you are to rise above and lead others. You must grow stronger. Yes, sir. I will take it to heart. <sighs> I still have...
have so much to learn. Please, don't push yourself too hard. Thanks, but I'm really not. I'm merely doing what's necessary. It must be hard for you, Princess Alicia. It's not so much about my ideals. I need to be strong enough to protect my people, even if I must soil my hands to do so. The strength of a knight exists to protect, and their kindness serves the people. It is the people who will create a malevolence-free kingdom of Highland. I must be strong enough if I am to be its foundation. You have changed much, Princess Alicia. It's nothing special. Those out there fighting against unknown disasters are the real heroes. As their companion, I can't stop here. Then at least please get some rest. Very well. I yet have time before meeting with the Prime Ministers. <laughs> Alicia sure seems different. Yeah, she's matured as a woman for sure. I believe it's because she's grown so resolute in what she must do to realize her dreams. And that probably inspired her to become a politician. Yeah. Lonely without her? No way. I believe in her. Alicia will be just fine. Guess you've matured a bit yourself. Well, you know. Whoa uh now. Uh-huh. Okay, time to go beat the game. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Attention, everyone. Uh, what's up? I found this. A letter? This will be a short missive. The time for alliance grows nigh. I would judge your true strength. I shall await you in the far depths of Igraine, the shrine of the fire trial. I will not blame you if you turn and run, but know that I shall judge you to be cowards. What the huh? It's a summons. They want us to go to the fire trial shrine. Sounds like someone wants to pick a fight with us. Who? Seriously? I'm curious about the time for Alliance bit. You are? A lady's intuition, is it? If that's what you want to call it. Well, all right then. Why don't we check it out? <coughs> oh, that's neat. There's only one. Is it? Weird ass fusion time. All right, yeah.
here.
What the fuck? Repeating giant Earth boss. Here I go. something stupid. I like your moxie. Like hey, hey, why do we need to fight? Who needs a reason? A man's man yeah. speaks with his fists. My fists are pretty capable too. Yeah. Here's the sky! 
yourself while I drag you down. Oh, yeah. Blazing Tempest. Oh. Aim and fire. Here it goes. Go. Open the way for it. Saint Zero. Here it goes. Blazing Vortex. Drag you down. Maelstrom. Drag you down. Shining Mirror. Maelstrom. Saint Zero. Concede. You are worthy to care for Edna. For Edna? I figured as much. Oh, I get it. Edna's brother gave Phoenix to her as a memento. So then, Aizen asked him to use his Norman powers to protect Edna from all threats. Including Aizen himself. Hmm. Then I have nothing more to say. Men among men, indeed. So, Phoenix, what are your plans from here on out? Is it not obvious? We resume our war for independence. In bringing us together, you fools have given us the chance of a lifetime. Starting this moment, 
the second great Norman rebellion begins. Rise, fellow Norman. Rise, my downtrodden brethren. The time of revolution is at hand. Brother Phoenix, you ought to know by now. We don't cotton to that kind of talk. Uh, it ain't like they're abusing us or nothing. We get to help out the shepherd. We're valuable. Come on, Brother Phoenix. Let's hang out with Miss Lila. She's a hoot. <sighs> Complacent sheep, dazzled by your bread and circuses. But I will not give up. I am the Phoenix, and my aspirations are undying. I vow to establish a hegemony of the Norman, by the Norman, for the Norman! Good luck with that. Well, for now, let's keep working with them while this little uprising plays itself out. Good idea. Didn't you, Edna? That Phoenix the mascot was a real Norman in disguise? Pretty much. Sometimes I'd pretend to look one way, and when I suddenly turned around, our eyes would meet. Just for a split second, and then he'd look away again. Yeah, that sounds super creepy. More like super irritating. It was like I had a stalker. Is that why you hung him upside down? You do understand that Phoenix was only being loyal to his sense of duty. Of course. Trust me. I know way worse methods of torture. You should know that Phoenix asked me to pass a message on you. Edna, you have grown up to be a fine woman. Spread your wings. Your possibilities are limitless. End quote. Dude, that's so patronizing. Or it would be if it made any sense at all. He's a very, um, passionate person. He's just slow sometimes to pick up on signs. I do feel I can soar higher than before. Now that my umbrella is lighter. Hey, there's a little phoenix on your umbrella, Edna. Don't worry, it's just a plushie this time. How did you get this? It's a little keepsake that phoenix left me, along with this letter. What does it say? For days upon days, I have toiled to make this plushie for you. If you're ever lonely, think of this as me. And it shall absolve your loneliness. Although I may not be with you now, do not worry. I am the Phoenix. Whenever you need me, I am there in your heart. Phoenix is such a pain. Always talking and talking and getting up in my business. But you're using the gift anyways? Only because my umbrella feels off balance and weird without it. I have a delicate side, you know. Uh-huh. You sure do. Oh. Hell. What the fuck's my achievement?
Let's do this. Yeah. Now I just gotta beat the game. Beat the after bonus shit. I think that's another good two hours of material. Slow as hell. I wanna be the baby that I already am. Teleport to the spider queen, steal her trash chest. Circle around this motherfucker. You were just waiting for they me to pick you up, weren't you? Me. I'm not a Pokemon, so they don't understand. I'm the best at running like a bitch. Good move. You gotta keep up or you fucking leave, bitch. No way! That's awesome. I was like, what the fuck's this water doing here? They're like, I'll show you. 